Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's schema markup video, I would like to discuss how to add schema markup in WordPress. Now, this video, of course, I'd like to have a little bit more fun with the adding of the schema. I want to go a little bit more intermediate with the actions that we will be performing today, but before I get into that, I just want to discuss exactly what we're going to be doing as a as a overview if have you okay so google uses structured data that it finds on the web to understand content of a page as well as gathering information about the web and the world in general so building associations building that entity association it's really that finishing touch that finishing nail that really brings everything together. Also by associating yourself with other entities overall could be potentially beneficial. Now also as another caveat, I want to talk about some guidelines here. Uh, and, and you may want to, you know, go over some of these guidelines. Now by zero means, am I saying run out and do this? or that I do this, or you should do this. I'm just showing you a fun way to utilize schema markup. So let's not waste any time. I, I wanna, it, it, following this uh, procedure, I wanna just quickly, uh, uh, as a brief overview, because I'm a visual, I, I want to say if maybe we had a website and it's about whatever the case is, and maybe we were to employ a service that were to maybe have a iframe, right? And an iframe is a window into another site amongst other things. But what if we were to have a site that we framed, we gave this frame to a service that would then distribute our frame to thousands, if not millions of other sites to then associate our brand, our business, our entity, right? Through structured markup, because when it is found and crawled and seen by Google, it's going to start making those associations. It's just an idea, you know, again, I just something that I've been playing with and I'd like to share with you today. So again, we have a page, we frame it. We maybe were to use a service that is then going to take our embed that we have injected code in, but not just our iframe code, but also structured data that's associating us with maybe a more powerful brand. Furthermore, associating us with a bigger, larger entity could potentially have plus benefits for us in the long run. It's something that I'm, I've been playing with. So I want to share it with you. So let's not waste time. Let's hop over here. We've gone over exactly what we're going to be talking about today and what we will be doing. So I've launched this test page. All right. Uh, I've called it test run. So I want to go over to the structured data tool and I'm going to show two things, but this is the overall idea. I'm not going to go into details, but basically like I talked about just before, that's what we're doing. I'm just going to show you how to do this. Anything else from there is up to you, all right? Now, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to use everything the same. Uh, but first, I want to show you something. I'm going to take this page that I've just created. Let's go ahead and update it really quick so we know that we have a fresh. Uh, the name of the page is Test Run, all right? Let's go to Preview. Just so you know, there's zero on this page. I just want to show you. It's just called Test Run. All right, we're going to grab this uh, because of a particular plugin. It's already generating a particular amount of structured data, okay, uh, which we're going to cover right now. Okay, so just so we're, we're all on the same page here, plus I want to show some other stuff. We're just going to have fun with it. That's the overall goal here. Just some fun ways that maybe we can start doing this. So we're looking at this, and, and really what I want to take a look at is the organization. Okay, we have that. And you, you, I want to show you this because there's only one, all right, web page. When we scroll down the web page, as you're taking a look here, you only see my brand, my business, my social properties, all right? So this is, this is what I'm getting at. 
all right the header everything's the same but really we're looking at web page organization uh everything else is going to be the same what i'm doing in the test to show you is i'm just changing a couple factors but we're going to inject the code into a frame because why because then we can distribute the frame it's a lot easier to distribute at mass right plus it's hidden so when something's hidden i can then get it out a lot easier because it's it's inside of a frame right so uh let's head over here now i i've actually taken the liberty to uh go ahead and write up some code here now i have this frame here's the frame that we're going to use it's from a youtube video that is mayan so i don't feel any type of way of using it so <clears throat> let's go ahead and go undo i was playing around with this just before uh so edit undo I guess we could just go ahead and take that right in there. All right, so we've taken the frame. And then what we've done is we've taken the code, all right, the schema code here. And we've actually are going to associate it with a known uh, SEO. This is just for fun and for a test, as you can see here. And, and here's what we're going to change. We're going to put in some associate us with this particular website here, if you can see it um we've also added this my name has entity connected with this particular name we are the same as far as the bot is concerned okay this is just for fun right so we're going to take the iframe code and when we have our iframe code we are then taking the json whatever type of schema that you want to use and at the end of this frame right here see this little bracket here we would put our schema code inside of there which i've done and then it's the end of the because here's the actual script so what i'll do is i'll show you this now so we'll take the entire script we'll copy it um we can even just for fun add maybe some more if you really wanted to we'll just add um here we'll just add 2020 here um and what we're going to do is take this script, we'll copy the script, we'll bring it up to this initial frame, we're going to put it inside of these two brackets right here, we're going to paste that inside of there, then we're going to take the entire frame, copy it, we're going to bring this over to our test run page here, and what we want to then do, because we already have this up, we're going to run a new test and I'll show the association. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this code and I'm just doing the most basic setup here. We're just adding a custom. Uh, then we're going to grab this. We're going to bring it back over here to the site. We're going to add it in. All right, paste. We're going to scroll up, make sure there's no spaces. Perfect. We will update the page. And then what we'll do is we'll head over to the structured data testing tool. And then for even more fun, let's go to the mobile. Just so you know, because you're probably thinking, hey, you know, maybe the structured showing, but what about is Google rendering this? Is Are they seeing it? So what we'll do is we'll go to the mobile, uh, Google mobile, mobile test. And we'll just take a quick look at... Um, what they're doing there so uh we've updated this i believe yep all right and then what we'll do is we will head over here and we'll go to the test run we'll go to a new test we'll use the same site and we'll run the test then what i'll do is i'll copy this copy and now we're seeing these same elements right as before but when we go into the web page what we want to take a look at here is our initial which is here right but as you noticed here we now have two because we're associating and the reason being is because i didn't erase anything else because i'm just showing you within a page that i show publicly all the time i didn't want to bring in any other sites or anything i'm just going to use this page because it's an email collection uh website 
So when we scroll down here, if we start taking a look, we're now associating ourselves same as, and as you can see, we're using this Twitter, we're using this Facebook, we're using this Instagram, right? I don't know if those are correct, but you can see the name. I'm just for fun, right? Uh, I've even changed some of the website entities, the YouTube channel. And then as you can see right here, here's what we typed. Here's our description about what we're doing. Uh, Chris Palmer SEO has entity connected with this particular individual. We are the same as far as the bot is concerned. Now, like we discussed with the sending out the frame and mass, whether it's through a press release, whether you're using an automated tool where you can drop these all over, whether you want to embed your video inside of a map embed and blast that out, what, what, you can be creative. I'm just giving you the tools that you need to start having fun with this type of thing right now. Remember, like we talked about in the very beginning, this type of thing may um, be frowned upon in some circles, but let's take a look at this page now here as a mobile friendly test. 